Hey guys, welcome back to Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Blondie here, and today I'm going to be ranking my top 10 art supplies. So let's get right into the video. Coming in at number 10, we have Craft Smart Acrylic Paint. Also, sorry about that face there, but Craft Smart Acrylic Paint, I don't really have too but much of a problem with. It's just really watery, and I don't really use it that much. So that's why it's ranking number 10. Coming in at number 9, we have Sharpies. So I've actually used these a lot in my drawings. I just ran raking them number 9 because sometimes when you draw over paint with them, it like ruins the Sharpie and makes it so it doesn't work at all anymore. So that's why I'm ranking them number 9. Also, these colorful ones that are smaller are super good for like outlining drawings. So, I use them a lot, but they're nowhere near as good as these next few art supplies. Coming in at number eight, we have crayons. Specifically, Crayola crayons, because any other crayon would be ranking, like, number 20. And they are rolling all over the place. But, these are my crayons that I have taken out to show you. And I do find them really good for, like, detail purposes, but I don't really like how streaky they are sometimes and how easily they break but they are sh like i think they're one of like the most least wasteful art supplies because when you throw away like a marker or something there's still like that plastic shell and pencils when you sharpen them like it it um a lot of it goes to waste like that all that wood on the pencil just goes into the trash can but these the only thing that's trash is the wrapper but everything else is usable so i think that's really cool Coming in at number seven, we have Apple Barrel Paints. Now, I mean, I have no problem with these paints because they're actually really pretty good quality for only being Walmart and like $2. But I just don't really use them that much. And sometimes they're a little bit like see-through and stuff. So I guess they're not, the, they're obviously not the highest quality paints. Also, they changed their logo, guys. This is their old logo, and this is their new logo. I don't know. Which one do you like more? I actually kind of like the old one a bit more. But actually, mm, I don't know. The new one's really good with, like, the Gleef. Okay, we're getting off track, guys. It's time to jump into number six, which is going to be a Strathmore sketchbook. These are the kinds of sketchbooks that I use, and they are super, they're really good quality. And I highly recommend them. I don't think, they're not really that expensive. I mean, so, there's a lot more that are way more expensive. And of course, there's a lot more that are way cheaper, but they're not nearly as good quality. And this one, this one's not, but the ones with green covers are made of recycled paper. So that's really cool. Number five is trash. And I know that sounds really weird, but I've made like a lot of stuff of what people would call trash. But it's not actually trash because it, clearly you can make some really cute stuff with it, like this little chick jar. And I've made some, I've made magnets out of like old caps of things. And I've also made a lot of these little painted jars. So just look up on Pinterest, painted jar crafts. And this is from a oi yogurt jar. So that's really cool. And I use these to hold my crayons a lot and to hold other random stuff. Coming in fourth place, we have Artist Loft Watercolor Paper. Now, this paper does not work a good for regular, like, for watercolors. It just, the watercolors don't really blend well. They kind of just sit there and look kind of gross. But the paper does work really good for, like, regular drawings. And they come in this huge thing, 9 by 12 inches, and there's, like, According to this, there's 30 sheets. And so I just cut it into small pieces to make bookmarks and like little 4 by 6 inch things. So you can put it in a frame or whatever. Or you could just use the entire thing if you want to make a bigger piece of art. Coming in at number 3, we have my cat. Wait a minute, this is the wrong video. Or maybe it's the right one. Maybe I could use his little nose to draw pink lines. Okay, we're getting really off track. Coming in at number three, we have um, Tombow, Tombow Art 
markers so they're like brush pens and these markers are really cool if i can open it and basically one side has this really cool brush which works really well and then the other side has this tiny little detail brush so let me just do a little test here on this index card that's how the brush writes and that's how the detail one writes. They both have really good color, as long as you're not using one that's out of ink, obviously. But I really like these markers, and I use them in my regular draw in my drawings very often. Coming in at number two, we have Crayola pencils. And I have so many. As you can see, I have two colored pencil carousels full of them and more. But I really like these pencils. A lot of people say that they're bad quality. But, I mean, come on, they're super cheap, and they're meant for little kids, so they don't have to be the best quality. Plus, I don't even find a problem with their quality. I mean, some of them don't show up very well because they're light colors. And, you know, you just have to um, color a bit harder sometimes, or a bit lighter sometimes. I think they're totally fine, and I use them on all my drawings. And my number one art supply is... paint pens so these are my new paint markers i've got these like a couple weeks ago um they're called zayar i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but that's what they're called and um the, of course i have more colors than this but i really like these paint markers they're super fun to use and i just really like i really like them well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subs sub sub subscribe. Oh, my gosh. I cannot talk. Click right here on the screen to subscribe and click right here to see another art video. See you guys soon. Bye.